Anywhere it's real niggas around, I'm right at home. Fat boy checking the fucking another early morning blog. Just here doing my thing. Yo, shout out to the union who uh, made mention to me and my tweet that I put out in regards to uh, some of the stats that are going on uh, within the URL and, and in regards to dropping battles and stuff like that. Um, real quick before I go any further, I do have. The prediction blog for RBE's card coming. I did not forget you, RBE. If you're watching this, Lawrence, I didn't forget y'all. Um, <clears throat> I haven't really dropped a lot of recaps on the battles from Gnome and um, the Initiation Value 1. Um, a lot of the content is not really relevant at this point. I know it just happened, but a lot of people are not going to be interested in watching the recaps from certain battles because they've already formulated an opinion, which kind of leads into where these tweets came from that I put out that the union spoke about. Again, shout out to the union, Visual DME, and my man Jay Legend. Um, so here's what prompted me to create the tweet and go do the research in the first place. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, DNA said to twerk in their um, their little face off at Champion. Shout out to Jay Black and Tech Nine at Champion. Um, he said that he was going to give Twerk his first million view battle. Well, Twerk doesn't have any million view battles. I'm like, damn, that's kind of crazy to think. He's the most popular battler in battle rap right now. Probably right next to Surf and Tay Rock. If I had to take a guess, those would be the top three. Maybe Rum Nitty, but those three. The sunlight is glaring right now. Sorry you can't really see me. Anyway... Here's my thing. <clears throat> I went and did the research. The tweet was, was worded specifically so that people wouldn't be confused as to what I meant. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break it down. Within the last year, meaning when I put that tweet out a couple days ago, this time, this very day, last year, up to right now, 365 days ago, in that span, 87 battles dropped in the URL. I went down their list and I... I looked at every single one, PGs, big events, small events, you name it, one-offs, female battles. It's 87 total battles that dropped in the last year, right? Of the 87, six of them cleared a million. Now, I know the first thought everybody should be having is, okay, it's because of pay-per-view. But then I looked at the... The, the battles themselves that did clear a million views, they all have vets. There's not one single newcomer who's come in the last two or three years who is in the ranks of the million view battle club within the last year, right? So how are you, how are you splitting this if you're looking at it? Are you looking at it because you have to be certain vets? Because, for example, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's K-Shine and Hitman that have 2.8. And then Tay Rock and I believe Hollow have like 2.3 or 2.5 or something like that. So those are big names. They're going to draw a big crowd immediately when they drop. If you know anything about Battle Rap or as DME likes to call it, the casual fan, when you see those two names drop on URL, a lot of people are going to tune in. Hitman and Tay Rock, the biggest name that left Battle Rap, in my opinion, and the, so to speak, left Battle Rap to go do something else, and the biggest name that's still doing it. So that got me to thinking, okay, well, how many battles even cracked half a million? Because it's pretty easy to crack half a million when the URL has like 800 and something plus subscribers so it should be fairly easy if you are a relatively decent battler matched against a decent opponent to crack a half a million only 16 battles crack a half a million twerk who is the most popular like i stated before of the newer battlers has four battles none of them even touched 700,000 yet 
So I'm only bringing this to other fans' attention because I want people to realize that there's an issue here. And DME touched on this issue. If you don't watch the union, you need to go check out all their pages. You can find this this episode that I'm talking about on, on for sure on Jay Legend's page because that's where I watched it at. Here's my issue. You can't drop battles six months after they happen when you got a whole nother event coming like this week. Nobody's interested in a battle that happened six, seven months ago. Not they, Now, you would think that they would be because they didn't see it. But here's the problem with that. Yeah, they haven't seen it. But publicly, the opinion has been formed already on who won that battle based on what people are saying about it from the night it happened and on Twitter and on Facebook and on Instagram and on wherever, you know, Snapchat. Wherever people are talking about it, the public has formulated their opinion already as to who has won that battle. So when it drops, you have people who are just like, eh, they already said such and such won. I'm not going to watch this battle. So... On the flip side of that, so you're thinking, all right, well, the pay-per-view van fans are who is keeping Battle Rap alive. We got battles dropping, I mean, uh, cards dropping for pay-per-view damn near every other few weeks, it seems like right now. I know it might slow down eventually, but right now, it's going back to back to back, like every couple of weeks. Then you have RBE's card, which we're going to get into in another video. They're dropping battles. KOT is going to be dropping events and battles. So it's like... Eventually, you're going to stop spending money. So you're losing fans who are not watching on YouTube, and you're losing fans who don't want to spend the money anymore because they've already ordered the last three events. Not to mention, all these events have been no more than maybe a B rating or a C sometimes. A C rating, some even Ds. Like very, They're not very good. Maybe one or two battles stand out, and then the others are just okay at best. So... You're going to start losing people who want to purchase the pay-per-view just based on the fact that the cards have not turned out very well. I have a concern right now with this Vegas card. You got Sue Surf versus Iron Solomon. You got Hitman, who's a performer, battling Tay Rock, who somewhat also is a performer, some would say. How are you supposed to capture the effect of the essence of battle rap? When there's no crowd to give the feedback the way that you want them to. Now, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's a, a venue that they'll be doing these battles in where you'll get a fan reaction. You'll get that feel that you're looking for when you watch these URL battles. But I'm concerned that if we're going to start traveling, you need to draw the fans out. I love what they did in Houston. I thought that was iconic. I thought it was great. I love that. But if you're not going to do that in every city then you might as well do Valium battles. If you're not going to be in Irving Plaza or in Houston in that warehouse venue, then you might as well do Valium battles. So there's a lot of concern going on, in my, at least in my opinion, which started, like I said, with DNA saying, I'm going to get Twerk his first million. Twerk should have already had his first million by now. So somebody tweeted me saying that uh, Twerk and clean paper are up around like 900,000. I didn't do the checking, so I don't know. It could be. But at the end of the day, pay-per-view is definitely taking a toll uh, on the views on YouTube. I know URL is not concerned themselves at this point with the money coming in from YouTube. Whatever they get from YouTube is just a plus. But it's concerning to fans because there's a much bigger picture that if people stop watching, then URL is going to start changing the way they do things to get people back on YouTube. That could cause more changes. So, again, I'm just going over some of the, the stats. Uh, another quick stat I'm going to throw out real quick because this is turning into like a 10, 12-minute video, which I didn't want. Another stat I threw out was of the 500,000 club, there's only 16 battles that were over 500,000, but they didn't crack a million, if you get what I'm saying. So there's 16 under a million, but that they're also over 500,000. Twerk has four of them. Rum Nitty has four of them. And, um, you know, that's almost half. So it's like if they're not in the battle, you run a risk of not even getting 500,000 views. That's crazy to think about. Like, comment, subscribe. 
let me know what you think. Uh, again, salute to the union who uh, who touched on the topic and shouted me out. And I think it should be talked about amongst the fans. One more time, like, comment, subscribe, share, whatever you got to do. Help your boy out. Um, I'll be back with another vlog not long from now. I respect the culture. I advise you niggas to do the same.